welcome back to a new lecture so we have added theme we have added plugins but our website is looking nowhere what we were expecting so when we have installed the type theme it was something like this the demo was totally different but now it's nowhere gorgeous nowhere beautiful so why this is happening because we don't have enough content at this point of time also we haven't done customize our website till now so you are looking at this beautiful customize button we need to click that and edit few settings but before that we need to add a lot of content to our website so let me take a few minute break and come back with content now i have added website content so i added uh, some three four random posts so it's currently in better design than previous now we have to customize a lot of things the first thing that is irritating me is this type of sidebar that is our widgets that are used in our sidebars i need to remove that so before doing anything else let's jump on to the customize option remember we were looking some sample like this so let me customize and see what we can do once you are on to your customize option uh, just head towards your theme setting so either you can just remove these kind of text and you can add your own logo so the first thing i'm going to do is go to my site identity add my own logo so i have uploaded a logo i will be adding it and just skip cropping and yeah so that looks fine or i can use full width that's not yeah that's better so now i have added my own logo you can design a better logo i'm just doing this for tutorial so this is our logo now and that's fine now just scroll back here you will be seeing few options what we can uh, customize more so before that let me go to my featured post and here i will click on display featured post every theme have different options so you just need to try different thing so this looks much better now yeah this is much better we can also click on display title okay it just display the menu of it so i just need to skip that i can also write my own title so that looks fine i haven't published that so it's not live yet it's just into development or what we can say edit phase or modification phase so particularly i clicked on publish for one so i can see the changes on live website they are looking fine now i need to get rid of this so what i need to do is just go to blog and here i can select what is the design that i prefer so either i can go with grid so this will distribute them into grid style or i can go with large but before that i just need to get rid of this sidebar so i can go with uh, no sidebar that is full width here you can see now they have the big one so i can just go with grid and they have now distributed or you can go with list so it's totally depending on you how you want to design your website if now there will be more posts they will come just below them so if there are two more posts they will be just below them so this is looking fine now my website is in much better shape than uh, before so let's go and publish them if you see my website it's now in better shape than the previous one so yeah that's look fine now i need to add few pages and then add into menu so what you can do is just visit your dashboard go to your page section and click on add new so here what i can do is i just can add about and then here you can add a lot of about section and then click on publish once that is done i will add one more just to increase names in the menu bar so that's look good here i need to add contact us and some random stuff for a while and then click on publish so once that is done i need to prepare a menu so now at currently i have only created pages so these pages are in just database so what i can do is just go to menus and i will add these pages into header let me create a menu called header once you create a menu uh, just add pages 
So I am selected into main menu and click on save. You can just you can just reverse the order so this would be better. Now that is done just go back to our website here you can see now it's look fine. If you need to add more menus just go to our menu section so appearance and then menu and this is our main menu at this point of time. I would like to add home or any category page also. So what I can do is I can add techcomment.ml and give the text as home and add to menu. You can give any of your link for your social media or anything else and then click on save. So now we have home, about and contact us. So that's look fine. I can also add a search bar here. Just go to your customize and you can explore a lot of options. So what I can do is just visit my theme setting then go to header and here you can just customize this also. So let me add display search icon. Now I have a search bar. Uh, also if I try to edit with this setting I can also get a preview of different thing. So this will be header and then there will be a top image. Mm, now these don't look good. So I guess the currently that we were using is the only best one and that's decent. I have added the search feature also. So you just need to explore themes. So that's how our current website looks. It looks fine. So if you, I go to my blog post and let me see how it's look now. So I've done it, it as full page. So that's look fine. And this is an awesome blog post with next and previous feature. These are tags. Uh, this is our category Yep comment section and that's our home. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm really happy with my simple demo website. So now I hope you understand how this works Now the next important thing is we have created a basic website, but who is going to visit us? So we need to do basic SEO. So in the next lecture, I will be talking about some basic things that are about SEO